Welcome to the Indie Lot, where it's film school for the rest of us. I want to start off with a big thank you as uh, you've joined me here for this great topic and discussion on filmmaking and storytelling. I'm your host, Jim Vince, and I'm very, very glad that you're here. My approach to filmmaking is not from a, a Hollywood process. I, I, you know, I'm not going to say anything here as to how Hollywood does things. Um, I am a DIYer, all right, a do-it-yourselfer, and this is DIY filmmaking for sure. Um, many of us, our fathers and mothers and husbands and wives and employees, you know, or, or some of us are single, but by day we're one thing, and then at night we become this filmmaker. I've wanted to make films since I've been a kid, and basically I've let that dream slide by me because of just this perceived um, uh, inability to get gear and, and make films, right? I don't have a crew, I don't have lights, I don't have a camera, blah, 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 all that stuff. One day I realized that I had one of these. All of a sudden, you know what? The camera issue solved. I got a camera. And I don't know, it was something weird, man. I just felt convinced in my heart when that realization came that I bet I could make something decent, even on an iPod Touch. And even if it wasn't, well, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be the greatest film ever, but but I thought I can learn how to tell story and make films. And I've got the camera. Um, some of you, let's see, you have this. If you don't have the iPod Touch, you definitely got something like this, probably, most of you, maybe not all of you, but it's some kind of smartphone. This is an iPhone, but you have Android devices. And these devices come with great cameras. Um, some of these cameras will give a DSLR a run for its money. I thought, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start practicing. I'm going to work on making a film. Okay, so then I was stuck there for days trying to figure out, my goodness, what story do I do? I realized, you know, that I was stuck because I just didn't know what to do or how to begin. So in the next several modules, we're going to talk about coverage, how to cover a scene with your shooting. Uh, how to capture various angles, where to put your camera, how to frame your content, things like that. We're going to get into um, microphones and very inexpensive solutions to miking, to lighting. We're going to talk about color grading and color correction. I'm going to demonstrate and, and take you through one of uh, a film that we make together, a short film, and I'm going to do some editing of that film right there. And, and you can watch and see how I do editing and see basically uh, some of the things that you want to look for and how you want to edit, such as editing on action. Okay, we're going to talk about software and uh, the things that you'll need for post-production processing. We're going to cover a lot of topics in a very general, introductory way. It's going to be kind of like put your face in front of a fire hydrant to take a drink. By the time you're done with this this course and these modules, you're going to have a great foundation uh, to begin making your own films. And if you do, as I suggest, along the way of shooting that short film simultaneously with me as I do it, uh, I'm going to show you exactly the kinds of shots to get, and we're going to build that film together. So it'll be practical example, and it'll be a way to help you get going. The number one mistake that new filmmakers make is we don't make films. And that was me for a long time. I had every excuse. I mean, I wanted to. I had genuine desire, but I didn't, I, you know, I didn't have the camera. I didn't have the lights, right? Now I got the camera, and then still I wasn't doing something right away, but because now I'm trying to figure out a story, so I had to kind of leave off that notion of trying to find a good story and just find something. So, I mean, I remember one day thinking about this. What if I just, I got it. My wife asked me, can you go to the store, right? So, um... I, I thought, well, there's the story. I, I get up and I go to the store. So what kind of things could I film um, to tell the story of, a, of me getting up and going to the store? There's your story right there. Something plain and simple. And it doesn't have to be full of action. It doesn't have to be full of drama or danger or anything like that. Because 
what are you trying to do? You're trying to learn how to tell a story. You're trying to learn how to find the right camera angles, and 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 then once you've got your film, you're you're learning how to stitch it together and post and all that stuff. And so there you go. You're going to the store, and and then maybe one day when you get up and go to the store, there'll be some drama, and then you can incorporate that into your story. It actually happened to me. I went into my local grocery store. And um, I'm standing at the customer service line, and I hear somebody yell, Stop that man. And I look up, and there's this big guy, reaches into the, to the cash register, and he's got fists full of cash, and he's running out the store. And I, I, I was froze. I didn't know what to do. And I'm standing there, and I probably wouldn't have done anything except for the fact that he's running right at me. And so as he runs at me, all of a sudden I find myself jumping into the air and locking around his head and his neck and, and wrestling him down to the ground. And as we're in this big fight, then like five or six other guys pile up on top of us and we proceeded to hold him down for 20 minutes until the police got there. Um, and, and so, you know, if I was filming a story, there, there you go, man. My story just got dangerous. It got intriguing. The conflict level rose tremendously. It was, <laughs> it was definitely a situation where I, I had no idea that I was going to be in that situation. So, um, but the point is, you know, you don't even need a great story. You just want to get going and start doing something, get some momentum. You've heard the old adage that, you know, it's easier to steer a car when it's moving. And that's pretty true, you know? Um, so you want to get this, this, this vehicle of filmmaking moving so you can start steering it. <laughs>